on every opening and closing checklist in the morning, there is an inspect and clean up area in front of the store for trash, sweep, shovel snow, and put salt outside, whatever is needed so that we make sure that we have a safe area for the customers coming into our store and that it looks presentable. So let me give you some things that we see depending on the times of the year. In the summertime, we have beautiful pots. So we need to make sure that we water the pots, okay? And we take care of them if we've got to take out any dead things and so forth. As the season change, maybe you might have an idea, Misha, you know, the, the, the pots are looking really bad. I think maybe we need some fall flowers like some mums, or maybe we need to put our, you know, so I'm always open to hear things. And maybe if you've got a green thumb and you want to help out, a lot of times our Lewis and Bloom helps us out here in Lewis, but we do have the pots. So in the summer, very important to keep them watered. The other thing in the summertime with the foot traffic, there's a lot of families and we will find ice cream, empty cups, trash, things all around that we have to just pick up and put away. Sometimes I see kids' faces, their lips along the, the windows. Now we have window cleaners that come out, but they're not here every day. So we just got to make sure that everything looks clean. Maybe yesterday we were slammed, it was bad weather and we had to get, some, we had to sell some stuff out of the window. There's an empty mannequin. There are the kind of things that you want to sit outside, especially if you come in from the back door of your store. Some of my stores come in from the back door, others come in the front every day. And as you're walking in, you could be doing this, most of it except for watering the plants, be checking is everything in line. You know, like I'm looking here. So like here, for me, this is, we need to get printed signs here when I look at this sign. I've been sending this over to our marketing group saying, we need some signs, but right now I've got temporarily, these are up. And we have a wrong, it's the wrong sign. Yes, yes. So we are seeing the wrong sign in the window that was Oh boy, how long ago? So we had to climb in and fix that one. Gift certificates available, but we see all the mannequins are covered. They've got stuff on here. Um, as we're going around, now this is an area that traps a lot of leaves and stuff in the winter. Um, we have to come out and sometimes I just even vacuum this carpet to get the leaves. Because if I sweep them in the street, guess what? They're going to be back here by the end of the day. So I try to solve it so I don't have to get the leaves come back. Um, there's sometimes the year where we bring the leaf blower in and blow it out here. Now, this is an area that is inside the, the city line. So here in Lewis, uh, Bloomington Accessories, Lewis Wear, Just Lewis, we are able to put stuff on that property. We cannot put stuff on the outside properties, same over at Bay Long Neck and so forth. We cannot put stuff out on there because a lot of times your landlords or the city doesn't want a liability, especially with something out there crazy. The only thing we're allowed to put in Lewis is our A-frame sign. We have an open sign and that you have to think where you place it. You gotta make sure it's stable, it's steady because you know we get wind off the canal and things like that. In Blooming Boutique, we actually put it back here in between two parking spots because we've had people put it right where somebody swings and opens their car door and we have not happy people. So very important, like we put ours right here, right along the edge, keeping a full path here. Okay, and every town center, whatever, has rules on size and signage, what you're allowed to put out. So if you get creative and you want to do something, please check with me because I do know the rules and what I've signed off and what we can do. Okay, um, as you guys can see, what I look up to with the signage is, we look at, is it, is it neat? Is it centered? I don't like a lot of things taped in. I actually don't even like plastic frames. If we can get cute, nice frames, I'd like to get some better frames to put in our windows. Um, but do not tape in like the main core windows when you've got a beautiful display. Okay. But, uh, and then we have stands. So let's look at this. See now at least we've got everything that's got product on it. We look around here and I'm going to tell you the other thing I, I, I'm all about is all the weeds and stuff that starts growing up. You gotta look at that kind of stuff along the crevices there. You know, I was out there with my weed be gone and doing all that kind of stuff there. Um, and here you can see we're fully stocked. Everything is in the windows. Um, very important with the windows is just checking, make sure there's nothing, there's no trash around here, which is nice. Um, we do have to determine how long do we keep our flags out? Do we keep them out all summer? Are we gonna do on that kind of thing? But they're the kind of questions you should be looking at when you're looking on the outside, you know, of the store. And um, I was going to say, and, and as you're looking in, am I seeing lots of dead bugs? Do I see cobwebs? Do I, what do I see in the store? Is it really representing the whole store? Because you don't know who's walking by. You have all walks of life. You know, and all different things that people are priorities. Some that are on vacation, they might just need sunglasses. Can they see that? There's people that are looking for full outfits. You know, people that are looking for troll beach jewelry. So make sure that you look at the window. Is it represented? Has it been changed in the last week? Okay, so lots of that kind of stuff. And you know, am I seeing, oh my God, we might be a little worried about sun damage because sun damage is very important that, and if we keep it in too long, we will have that. And not all stores can get the film on it. And even with the film, we still have problems where items do get faded. So as you can see, we've got a public bench here. We keep it all nice, neat and clean. So just, you know, first impressions, very, very important for a store. So make sure you come out and check this each morning. 